Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, we're so glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. Today, we're talking about how to make your presentation points memorable. Are you ready? Let's get started. A couple of months ago, I started a series about how to be a better, more effective, more confident presenter. And this is the last in that series, at least for now, about how to be a more effective presenter. And the whole point of this final episode is to make it memorable. I mean, you're taking the time and energy to create the presentation. You've got it on the agenda for this meeting to take place where you're going to give this presentation. You've got the people who you want to have in it, have their attention and for them to take action afterwards. But when they leave, they have to remember what it was if it's going to be effective, right? So I've got three ideas, three things that you can apply to help make your presentation points and your overall presentation more memorable. The first, use images. Now, for images, because listen, we think in pictures as human beings. So when you think about me saying that, you might be thinking, well, the visual on your PowerPoint, and that's certainly true. If we can get less words and more visuals, the visuals that connect to your point, that can be helpful. But visuals can also be how you use your body and saying one, two, three, and all of the sorts of things that can help make it more memorable. And lastly, and maybe most powerful, is to use word pictures. Describe things in ways that help create pictures in people's head of your idea. Use language that helps people see your idea and not just hear the words. Use images. And I'll simply say this, when you see images online, uh, you, you know that memes are memorable. Now, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you create a meme, um, but if at the end of the day, people can hook onto something that you said and remember it, you've got a far better chance of having success from your presentation. Second, use stories. Uh, we all make sense of our world through stories. We, we, we tell our history through stories. We make our points through stories. Stories do not have to be long. This doesn't have to be your, your uncle that tells a story around the fire, that he forgets his point halfway through. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying use stories that are connected to the points you're wanting to make. I'm saying use a story because it's memorable, because it will be the hook that people can remember. But make sure that the story does connect to the point you're trying to make. So make it more relatable by making it a story that makes sense and they understand and make it more personal. The more that it's a story about you and not a third party story, the more likely it will be memorable. Use stories because stories support our messages. And lastly, use alliteration. Use alliteration. Alliteration is using the same letter to start each word in a phrase. I've done it several times in this short video. I said, make it memorable. I said, memes are memorable. I said, stories support. So alliteration is a powerful way because it helps us remember a phrase. A turn of the phrase can help us remember it. So I would say, activate alliteration and achieve attention. Alliteration is a is a, an idea or a framework often used in writing, but we can use it in our speaking as well, and it can be very powerful to help people remember. So I've said there are three things that we can do to help make it memorable, it being our presentation, and those are to use images, use stories, and use alliteration. Uh, let me close with today's remarkable reminder. The best presentations are memorable after the meeting ends. The best presenters find ways to create memories in their sessions. I hope you found this valuable. Hope that you'll come back for another episode in the future. And I hope that if you're a presenter, you are also a leader. And if you're a leader, you probably have at least some of your team members at distance. If some of your team members are at distance, you need a copy of the new and updated version of The Long Distance Leader, Revised Rules for Remarkable Remote and Hybrid Leadership. I hope you'll take a chance to go 
to kevineikenberry.com slash LDL to learn more about this new book and pre-order your copy now. Hope you'll do that. And I do hope you'll be back next week for another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.